सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ नैष्कर्म सिद्धि सेकंड चैप्टर सेवेंटी फिफ्थ वर्स पेज नंबर सेवेंटी टू निरपेक्षापेक्षा पराची प्रत्यगद्व सवधि निर्गते यदेशु पश्य सुरेश्वराचार्य talking about the difference between atma and anatma atma is i the consciousness higher i anatma is the lower i ahankara or the mind antahkaranam between these two which one is real we have to know how we can know this difference between atma and anatma atma is known as sakshi sureshwara acharya using the word in this in this portion atma as sakshi chaitanyam i am when i say the i is a mixture of sakshi plus ahankara all of us use that i i am i word is always a mixture in this mixture there are two components only vedantic students knows not others only scriptural student can decipher that i means is a mixture mixture of what and what i means first component is sakshi chaitanyam the original consciousness the second component is rc the reflected consciousness chidabhasa or ahankara this i is always very very uh, difficult to differentiate unless you study well thorough in the scriptures and not only study and you have to do lot of contemplation on that then only you can clearly understand this the whole world is means humanity facing problems only because of this lack of understanding of the i mixture because of that i means they take body mind complex which is not true taking myself i as body mind complex is the cause for all troubles in the life cause for all sorrows in the life cause for all miseries in the life just mere ignorance of i just mere ignorance of i leads to many many negative consequences in one's life why people are not able to know this simple thing because lack of viveka absence of viveka they are not able to know how we get this knowledge this process is very very subtle process because whenever i experience every experience 
is nothing but a thought. Every experience happens in the mind. That mind is having a thought. In the form of thought, every experience comes. Thought means vritti. Thought means vritti. Rupa vritti, ghata vritti, pata vritti, shabda vritti, rasa vritti, ghana vritti. Lot of vrittis are rising in the mind. They are giving experience. Rupa vritti gives rupa jnanam, rupa anubhava. Any form, I get the thought, I get the knowledge of that anubhava of that object. If I hear the sound shabda vritti shabda anubhava experience. Therefore, I means a mixture. In that mixture, this the mind or the thought rise in the mind, which is nothing but an experience. So, in our every experience, Mixture is there, OC is there, RC is there. What is the difference? RC is the one who is changing all the time. OC is that Sakshi Chaitanyam is not changing. That changing Ahankara or uh, that thought, Vritti, experience are changing. In all experiences, I, the Sakshi Chaitanyam, am the observer of every experience without undergoing any change. I, the Sakshi Chaitanyam, am the experiencer of all experiences about experienced objects. The experiencer is not a job, really speaking. Experiencer Observer is not a verb, it is not a kriya. I am the Sakshi Chaitanyam, in my presence all the thoughts are rising, all the thoughts are illumined by me, by borrowing sentiency from me. I am the lender of sentiency. Mind, thought, sense organs, etc. are borrowing the sentiency from me. I am the Chidabhasa Pradata. I am the Sadabhasa Pradata. Satta Pradata. Satta Pradata, Chit Pradata, Ahameva. In the form of existence and consciousness. So, body-mind complex, they are nothing but Chidabhasa and Sadabhasa. Body is, mind is, thought is, eyes are there, nose is, all the vrittis are there, Rupa vritti is there, Shabda vritti is there, and that easiness is called Sadabhasa. It is not avasa, like as though avasa. Sat, satta pradata ahamasmi. Similarly, chit also, it becomes sentient. Mind becomes sentient, then body becomes sentient. All these are because of whom? By chidabhasa. Chidabhasa is existing because of whom? Me, the original consciousness, sakshi chaitanya. So, therefore, I am the lender. They are the borrowers. Therefore, I am not depending upon them. Nirapekshascha. I am nirapeksha. Apeksha means depending upon something else. To get pot knowledge or fan knowledge or any knowledge to get sound knowledge, I have to depend upon thought. Without thought, you cannot get any knowledge. So, Nera Sapeksha Antakaranam Ahankara is Sapeksha. Sapeksham, you see the first line. Sapeksham Parachi Pratyagadvayaha Nirapekshaha Atma Buddhim Pashyati. So, that is the idea here. 
Pratyak means inner, interior. Parachi means external, outer. Sakshi Chaitanyam is Pratyak. Advayaha, non-dual, inner, self. <coughs> Pratyak, Advayaha, inner self. To that inner self, Sapeksham Buddhi is Parachi. Parachi means outer. Mind is outer to Sakshi Chaitanyam. <coughs> Thought is outer to Sakshi Chaitanyam. Sense organs are outside to Sakshi Chaitanyam. Body, my, body is outside to the Sakshi Chaitanyam. Whole world is outside the Sakshi Chaitanyam. Outside means from the standpoint of Sakshi Chaitanyam, they are outside. From the standpoint of Brahman, they are all within Brahman. Okay. From the standpoint of Sapeksha means Mithya Hankara. Sapeksha means dependently existing Parachi Mithya Hankara. Pratyak Advayaha Nirapekshaha. I the Sakshi Chaitanyam Sarvantaraha Sakshi Chaitanyam Sarva Deheshu Aham Pratyak in every body and every body I am there as Sakshi Chaitanyam inner self. Nirapekshaha means uh, Satya Sakshi in every time I am independently illumining everything. That is Nirapeksha means Apeksha Rahitaha. For my existence, for my experience, I am, I am, there is no need of Vritti. <coughs> I am consciousness. That is, there is no re requirement of any thought. Aham Vritti is there, but I am aware of uh, myself without any other outside objects. Any thought, separate thought is not required. So, independently ityartha. Then the second line, up to here we saw in the last class. Savadhim nirgate yattaha sarvadeheshu pasyati. Savadhi means Sakshi. Sorry. Parichinnaha Nirgata Yattaha. <coughs> so Atma is that. Sakshi Chaitanya means Aparichinnaha. Savadhim Parichinnam Buddhim Sarvadeheshu Pashyati. First line Sapeksham Parachi. Buddhim, Atma, Nirapekshaha, Pratyak, Advayaha, Atma, Sarvadeheshu, Pashyati. Sarvadeheshu, Pashyati. Sapeksham, Parachi, Buddhim, Nir Nirapekshaha, Pratyak, Advayaha, Atma, Sarvadeheshu, Pashyati. Similarly, second line also, Nirgata Yattaha Nirgata Nirgat Nirgata Yatta Yasmad Yatta means measurement this much Yatta Nirgata Yatta Nirgate Yatta That means Sakshi Chaitanyam I am who is uh, free from all measurements, all limitations, all uh, conditions, yatta, this much measurement is not there for me. That is why aparichinnaha ityartha, limitless. Yatta yatra nasti. Nirgate yattaha. Nirgate yattaha sakshi aham sabadhim buddhim sarvadeheshu pashyami. If you say in third person, sakshi chaitanyam nirgate yattaha parichinnaha sabadhim parichinnam 
buddhim sarva deheshu pashyati like that you have to do anvaya that atma buddhi pashyati you have to borrow from previous verses all these five verses we are uh, using that same anvaya and nirva at nirgate yattaha atma savadhim buddhim sarva deheshu pashyati is the meaning so with this uh, this 75th verse is over now we'll enter into the next verse that is uh, 76th verse introduction अयमर्थो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रीजन एतस्मात् बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रीजन आल्सो द चकारा इज एंड एंड आल्सो Because of this above said reason, Karana, I am Artha. The following conclusion, the following conclusion, which is going to be explained in the following sloka, Vyavasiya Tam. Let it be internalized. Let us internalize that following conclusion because of that above said reason. that is the uh, idea here so mind is that which is never free from all limitations i the sakshi chaitanyam is ever free from all limitations so you cannot uh, see a sorrowless uh, 100% sorrowless mind you cannot expect there cannot be a sorrow free mind totally sakshi chaitanyam is ever free from sorrow mind is never free from sorrow it is always fluctuating in arth so he gives another example in the following not example explanation in the following verses so one has to understand that i the atma am ever free from sorrow sorrow belongs to the lower i the ahankara i so the ahankara i is never free from sorrow therefore why to struggle sorrow is uh, to be objectified learn to be learn learn and to objectify the sorrow of the mind i am the observer of the sorrow thought rising in the sorrowful mind i am the observer aham na dukhi parantu dukham when it is happening in the mind i am observing distancing yourself from the sorrow that which is rising in the mind why you are identifying with the sorrow because you are identifying with the body you are identifying with the ahankara once you identify yourself with ahankara as yourself and mamakara comes naturally when mamakara comes in anatma there cannot be any perfection there are always fluctuations in relations in objects there are lot of limitations paricheda is there doshas are there how can i expect that perfection in every object and in every person foolishly a person doing that uh, what will happen suppose a person foolishly searching for ananda security in anatma where it cannot uh, be available is it not foolishness that is why our dukha my sorrow i am under sorrow means uh, it you are uh, publicly publicizing your foolishness shastra says i am sorrowful i am guilty i am feeling guilty i am having hurt i am miserable that means uh, you are signing under foolishness are you a fool shastra asking you are signing 
by saying I am sorrowful, guilty, hurting, problems, miserable, suffering. All these are what? You are unknowingly accepting yourself, you are a fool. Why? Because you are taking your ahankara, mithya ahankara as yourself. Because of that uh, adhyaro adhyasa, you are associating with the another anatma, with this anatma, associating with another anatma, another relation, another member, other, other objects, and identifying with them, developing raga, dvesha, and struggling. Is it necessary? And doing this much of adhyasa and always expecting what? I want to be happy, I want to be peaceful, I want to relax. Doing all this uh, adhyasa, superimposition, because of ignorance and expecting what? Ananda. Expecting peace, happiness. Huh? Doing this is one foolishness. And expecting ananda from that anatma is another foolishness. And blaming all other objects in the world, people, etc., are another foolishness. How much, we, how much we are spending our time and energy in this? How long? How many decades you want to spend like this? Shastra is asking. Sureshwaracharya is asking. Therefore, understand Sakshi is ever free from dukkha, that is your real nature. Ahankara is never free from Dukkha. It is not your real nature. It is your fake nature. Fake I, real I. Real I and fake I together only Vyavahara is going on. Real I and fake I mixture together only Vyavahara going on. Husband I, mother I, wife I, father I, all these are all mixture. In this mixture you intellectually separate them intellectually physically you cannot separate physically you cannot separate hold the pot say there is no pot correct hold the pot in your hand there is no pot correct you are able to do that now because you are all advanced students same way do same way using the eye using the eye ahankara is not there. That I, O.C. is my nature. O.C. alone is giving R.C. R.C. because of that mind, jada, manas, inert mind, inert body, inert sense organs are functioning. It is my glory. Like a cinema movie, there is a comedy also. There is a, um, sorrow also, climax also, tragedy also. Comedy, tragedy. Whole cinema is a comedy. Nobody will see. There is a little bit of tragedy also. Whole cinema is serial is a tragedy. Nobody will see. There must be some comedy also. Okay? Then you enjoy, entertain. Villain also required. Hero in hero also required. Correct? In this uh, uh, Vyavahara also, some villains will be there. Hero will be there, heroine will be there, some comedies will be there, some tragedies also will be there. Watch them like a serial. Don't be serious. When you see the serial, Swamini, while seeing serial also we become serious. Anna. Then big trouble that is. <laughs> that is second samsara. Hmm? While seeing serial also, some people are serious. <laughs> hey, you are seeing the serial, why to be serious? Anna? Because we take that characters are real. All, some people cry also. <laughs> Don't be serious with the serial. What about our serial? Our lower eye serial is also episode, episode I told you, no? Many episodes going on. Don't be serious too much. How? Na? By studying Shastra. Now look into the sloka, we'll read. Dukhi yedi bhavadat bhavedatmam Kasakshi dukhi no bhavet Dukhi na sakshi ta yukta Sakshi no dukhi ta tatha Yedi 
यदि आत्मा दुखी भवेत यू से आई एम सफरिंग आई एम सार्वफुल द वर्ड वी यूज आई एम सार्वफुल बट लर्न टू डू भागत त्याग लक्षण आई एम सार्वफुल मीन्स अहंकार इज सार्वफुल ऐ साक्षी ऐम नाट सार्वफुल दिस इज कॉल भागत त्याग लक्षण इफ ई एम रियली सार्वफुल ऐ आत्मा यदि आत्मा ऐ सेफ ऐ एम साक्षी चैतन्य सपोज सपोज यदि मीन्स सपोज इफ ई एम दुखी सार्वफुल ओके ई एम नाट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड स्वामीनी ई एम सार्वफुल ओनली ई हेव लाट ऑफ दुख I am remembering so much. I know that I am Sakshi Chaitanya, but sorrow is coming. I am dukhi. Suppose you say, Atma is dukhi. Really speaking, if Atma is dukhi, bhavet. Yadi dukhi bhavet. Kassa Sakshi dukhi na ha bhavet. I the Sakshi Chaitanya as dukhi. Who will observe that dukham? कहा साक्षी हु इज द साक्षी दुखी नई दि आत्मा एम दुखी हु इज नोइंग दिस दुखम देन ऐ दि साक्षी चैतन्य एम दुखी संबड़ी मस्ट बी देर टू नो दट दुखम ऐ एम दुखी ऐ एम दुखी ओके सपोज ऐ दि आत्मा एम दुखी हु इज नोइंग Who is witnessing that dukham of me, the Atma? You require another Atma. You require another Sakshi Jayatanyam to know this Sakshi Jayatanyam dukham. If then that Sakshi Jayatanyam also dukhi, you require another Sakshi Jayatanyam to know that Atma dukhi. So anavastha dosha will come. therefore you cannot uh, uh, say atma is dukhi you cannot say atma is dukhi you cannot say so, okay um duk yadi atma dukhi hi bhavet kaha sakshi dukhi na ha sakshi kaha bhavet who will become the sakshi witnesser of dukham of that atma <laughs> uh, who is the witnesser of observer of dukham aware of dukham of that atma therefore it is not a question there is an answer atma can never be the dukhi mind alone is the dukhi atma is the sakshi of that dukham of that mind so that mind i am not the mind मनोबुद्धि अहंकार चित्ता नाहम हाउ कैन ऐ बी दुखी देर फॉर ऐ एम द अबर्वर ऑफ द दुखम ऐ एम द विटनेसर ऑफ दट दुखम ऐ एम द इल्यूमिनेटर ऑफ दट दुखम ऑफ दट दुखम ऑफ व हूम मैंड अंतकरण अहंकार देर फॉर ए दुखी कैन नेवर बी द सब्जेक्ट dukhi is always an object i know i am sorrowful if you say how do you know i know swamini i am sorrowful since you say you are sorrowful you are not sorrowful <laughs> why who know who is knowing that sorrow clearly understand here carefully suppose any person say i am sorrowful i am sorrowful means who is the aware of that sorrow who is the observer of that sorrow who is the experiencer of that sorrow i am experiencing sorrow means sorrow is experienced correct sorrow is experienced so the experiencer of sorrow is different from the experienced sorrow the experiencer is the subject experienced sorrow is an object whatever is experienced is object whatever whoever is experiencing is the observer the subject so subject is always different from the object here 
I, the Sakshi Chaitanyam, am the subject, witnesser, observer, experiencer of that mind suffering sorrow. That is why I am not sorrowful. Mind is sorrowful. My mind is sorrowful. Because both are proximate, body, mind, sense, organs plus OC are very, 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 very close. Inseparably they are together. Therefore, second line he says, Dukkhinaha Sakshita Ayukta. Etha, you have to supply. Etha Dukkhinaha Sakshita Ayukta. Just as a dukhi never be the subject. Sakshita means subject, witnesser. Dukhinaha, of that person who is the sufferer, suffering, sorrowful one, cannot be the subject. Sorrow is witnessed by somebody else. Sorrow cannot experience by itself. Sorrow is experienced by someone else. That someone else is Sakshi Aham. I am the knower of sorrow. That means I am the knower. Sorrow is known by me. Known knower. Sorrow is known to me. I am the aware of sorrow. Sorrow is aware by me. That means I am the subject. The experienced sorrow is object. That is why Sakshita Ayukta, it is improper. Just as a Dukhi object never be the subject. Object can never be. Dukhi is in, come under object. Dukhi object means a person who is having suffering. Suffering a person means what? Body, mind, complex, ahankara, chidabhasa, lower eye, vachyartha eye, vachyartha eye. I am lakshyartha eye. I am lakshyartha eye. I am subject. Vachyartha eye is object. Suffer, sufferer, experienced. By me, the experiencer, Dukkhinaha Sakshita Ayukta. Just as a Dukkhi can never be the subject, similarly, Sakshinaha Dukkhita Tadha Ayukta Bhavati. Ayukta you have to supply. Similarly, the subject Sakshi Chaitanyam cannot be the, cannot be sorrowful. Sakshinaha Dukhita Dukhitvam Dukhita means Dukhitvam Sorrowfulness Sorrow or Sorrowful So similarly the subject cannot be the subject means here Sakshi Chaitan The subject cannot be the sorrowful ob, Sorrowful Object alone is sorrowful That sorrow belongs to me, the observer, if you say, it is wrong. The sorrow can never belong to me, the observer. Sorrow belongs to the mind. If you say, I, the Sakshi Chaitanam, have sorrow, you are not understanding properly. It is improper, Ayukta. Therefore, what, what is the corollary? I am ever free from sorrow, Sakshi Chaitanyam. I am Sakshi Chaitanyam, I, higher I, Lakshartha I, am never have any sorrow. That is why Jnani is ever Ananda Swarupaha, remaining in Ananda. The next shloka we will go. This is, this mindset has to be set properly. Like sealing they set by curing, pouring water. They cure, curing, they call it, it's called curing. The, 
uh, roofs will become so strong so strong because of curing similarly um, sankhya mindset is called curing sankhya mindset means sankhya means gnanam the gnanam that much be so entrenched into your mind i can never have sorrow i am the witnesser of sorrow that which mind is ever never free from sorrow that is why sorrows are coming and going fluctuation ayaram gayaram they have arrival and departure ai the sakshi chaitanyam watching from my sorrow my sorrow means my lower i sorrow uh, my lower i sorrow i am watching from how many years many years many decades similarly i am uh, watching i am experiencing all my pleasures also from many years they are changing away arriving and departing but i the experiencer not arriving and departing that itself is the proof sorrow and pleasures are arriving and departing who is the aware of that arrival sorrow and departing sorrow i the sakshi chaitanyam the experiencer of the arrival and departure is not included in the arrival of sorrow and sorrow departure experiencer is always outside outside that is why outside in the sense pratyak they are all parachi parachi is outside so i am outside that saro means what i transcend they cannot touch me afflict me cholli cholli palahana idellame then only you can be cheerful always internally antara sanyasa this is antara sanyasa means what renouncing the saro from me the sakshi chaitanyam understanding i need not renounce saro from sakshi chaitanyam because i the sakshi chaitanyam is ever free from saro i renounce that lower i little distance distance it okay keeping distance mentally intellectually just as uh, one example stars in day time also stars are there are they appearing can you say stars are not there day time they are there mid noon there are stars are there you cannot say stars went away na. stars are there but in the presence of sunlight stars are almost not there almost not there as good as non existent similarly similarly in front of gnana surya ha twinkle twinkle saros <laughs> twinkle twinkle little stars star saros as good as non existence as good as non existence no stress no tension no anxiety no worry all pains happening to the physical body emotional upsets are happening in the mind i am watching my serial watch outside serials also doesn't matter nice entertainment is good what is wrong in that after all i am the sakshi chaitanyam enter and enjoying the serial and this serial also one is uh, uh, outside serial tv serial another is uh, my own serial two serials hmm? that serial also you can watch this serial also you are watching you cannot avoid it that you can switch off if you don't want hmm? that is one entertainment for gnani has got two entertainments nanna <laughs> irke huh? gnani has got two entertainments what are they one outside serial or cinema whatever entertainment you are liking that is one serial tv serial hmm? or cinema show entertainment enjoy nothing wrong in that similarly i am enjoying another serial what is that body mind complex raga dvesha kama krodha all going on and on and on i 
watch that this serial also nice free this is free hmm? you need not depend upon anything <laughs> for outside serial you have to depend upon the electricity tv so many outside things you have to depend upon gadgets electrical gadgets but whereas my own serial sakshi chaitanyam higher i lower i drama going on to watch my own uh, uh, serial on what i have to depend i need not depend i need not depend on electricity i need not depend upon tv i need not depend upon anything what a beautiful 24 into 7 360 days available serial hmm? <laughs> that serial may be a big holidays but the serial never ending okay enjoy दुखिना हा साक्षिता आयुक्ता यथा तथा को रिलेटिव तथा सिमिलरली साक्षिना हा दुखिता आयुक्ता साक्षी कैन नॉट बी द सब्जेक्ट माइंड कैन नेवर बी द सब्जेक्ट माइंड इज एवर द ऑब्जेक्ट आई द साक्षी इज एवर द सब्जेक्ट ओके नेक्स्ट वर्स इंट्रोडक्शन very very nice shlokas purvasyaiva vyakhyanartham aham purvasyaiva arthasya purvasya means purva shlokasya purva shlokasya artham aha same again elaborating vyakhyanam for elaborating or for substantiating or corroborating the previous shlokas artham aha sureshwaraj are you telling i am going to explain about that previous shloka how nice it is what is going to explain i'll read the 77 shloka narte syad vikriyam dukhi साक्षिता का विकारिण धी विक्रिया सहस्राण साक्षतोहम विक्रिय नर्ते अविक्रिया अविक्रिया दुखी सारी विक्रिया दुखी विक्रिया नर्ते हाउ यू हाव टू स्प्लिट न प्लस ऋते नर्ते यू हाव टू डू अन्व अप टू दुखी यू टेक वन सेंटेंस ओके विक्रिया न ऋते न ऋते दुखी सियाद विक्रिया मीन्स द चेंजेस सारो ईज ए फॉर्म ऑफ थॉट देर फॉर दुखी ईज ए विक्रिय देर आर चेंजेस थॉट ईज अनदर फॉर्म ऑफ माइंड दैट रईजिंग इन द माइंड एट्रिब्यूट ऑफ द माइंड थॉट ईज एन एट्रिब्यूट ऑफ द माइंड सो देर फॉर thought is an attribute of the mind therefore thought is changing mind is changing means uh, we use the word mind is changing we never say thought is changing really speaking when you say mind is changing who is changing thought alone is changing sorrowful thought happy thought uh, so so thought middle middle medium thought uh, all these thoughts are arising in the mind therefore thought is changing so mind is changing means thought is changing therefore mind is also changing you know since thought is changing therefore mind is changing therefore mind is the cause for all vikriyas vikriyam vikriyam rite दुखी कथम सियाद हाउ इट कैन बी दुखी सपोज विक्रिया इज नॉट विथउट विथउट सारो वृत्ति परिणाम रूप 
விக்காரம் வினா இத்தர்த்தா ஏர் விக்ரியா மீன்ஸ் விற்பி பரிணாம ரூப விகாரம் விக்ரியா மீன்ஸ் வாட் நத்திங் இன் திஸ் கான்டெக்ஸ்ட் விற்பி பரிணாம ஸ்தாட் மாடிஃபிகேஷன் விற்பி பரிணாம மீன்ஸ் தாட் மாடிஃபிகேஷன் பரிணாம ரூப விகாரம் தட் இஸ் த விகாரம் தட் இஸ் கால் விக்ரியா ஹியர் தட் விக்ரியா வினா வித்தவுட் தட் விற்பி பரிணாம ரூப விக்ரியாம் வினா இது நா மீன்ஸ் வினா ரிதே ரிதே மீன்ஸ் வினா வித்தவுட் ரு வோவல் வோவல் ரு வினா திருதிய வித்தவுட் இட் கவர்ன்ஸ் திருதிய வித்தவுட் தி விற்பி பரிணாம கதம் துக்கி பவேத் துக்கி சியாத் ந துக்கி சியாத் if mind if there is no thought modification raga vritti dvesha vritti krodha vritti moha vritti viparita bhavana vritti so many thoughts are coming and changing when you sit in the class now you are listening one hour how many thoughts are going on at uh, one hour 60 minutes totally are you thinking about only naishkarma siddhi class no there are so many uh, vikriyas are happening without your knowledge again you are bringing your mind no 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 swami is talking about naishkarma siddhi let me listen it goes out naturally doesn't matter so vikriya syat so na riti syat katham dukhi bhavati always ananda vritti alone won't be there always dukha vritti alone won't be there modifications are going on and on that is only the problem no in our life mind is so disturbed swamini not standing in one place not able to focus on anything it is so much disturbing and anartha so many thoughts so many thoughts means so much of you know, modifications are going in violently control e panna mudiyala swamini control e panna mudiyala anartha anna teevrama intense uh, intensely uh, moving thoughts that is the way dukha comes because of that overthinking also hmm? tension anxiety because of uh, you know future plans uh, all this uh, you know dukhi nasyat without modifications without changes dukham cannot come dukhi nasyat full stop sakshita ka vikarinah here also anvaya you have to do விகாரிணா கா சாட் ஸ்லோகா சப்போஸ் ஆத்மா ஈஸ் த சாட்சி ஈஸ் த விகாரி ஹாவ் சாரோ சாரோ மீன்ஸ் மாடிஃபிகேஷன் இன் த மைண்ட் ஸோ மாடிஃபிகேஷன் இன் த மைண்ட் ஈஸ் சாரோ ஃபுல் தாட் ஹேஸ் கம் பிகாஸ் தட் சாரோ ஈஸ் பிலாங் டு சாட்சி சைத்தன்யம் தென் ஹி இஸ் ஆஸ்கிங் விகாரிணா இஃப் Atma is a vikari, Sakshi Chaitanya is a vikari undergoing modifications to get Dukkham. If Dukkham is there in Atma, Sakshi Chaitanya, Katham Sakshita, who is the witnesser, who is the observer of that sorrow? Sakshita ka, that is not a question, answer also there. Nobody can be there, the Sakshi of that Sakshi sorrow. <laughs> okay. Sakshi is sorrowful. Who is the another Sakshi? Sakshita ka? Sakshi, Sakshitvam will lose. Sakshi become Atma Chaitanyam, Sakshi Chaitanyam is sorrowful. Sakshi, you cannot be called it as Sakshi. Atma cannot be called it as Sakshi Chaitanyam. Sakshitvam is because of Sakshita. Sakshi itself becomes Dukhi. then sakshitvam sakshita status will go away witness status status will go away therefore it is not correct sakshita ka sakshita na bhavati therefore therefore bhagavan krishna said in bhagavad gita prakashancha pravrittincha mohaveva cha pandava prakasha vritti that is gnana vritti pravrittincha raja vritti rajoguna vritti அண்ட் மோக விற்பி தமோ குண விற்பி பிரகாஷஞ்ச பிரவிச்ச மோகமேவ பாண்டவ 
then what? Nadveshti samprabhrittani nanivrittani kaangshati aidi sakshi chaitanyam atma am never hating anything nadveshti samprabhrittani if anything comes a problem comes I never hate na nivrittani kaangshati if it go away from me also I never desire na kaangshati because Coming and going, things and people, relations, objects, association, events, incidents, we are, they are not under our control. We knowing this but we struggle to control. This is called uh, error happening in our life. We know that uh, we are not able to control them but trying to control them. People we are trying to control, incidents we are trying to control, events we are trying to control, objects what we are using we are trying to modify, to control, uh, uncontrollable events, uncontrollable relations, uh, all things whatever happening they are beyond your control. Next moment what is going to happen we do not know. Whatever comes in front of you, yad yad bhavatu bhavyam bhagavan. Bhagavan, whatever comes in front of me, it is, let it come as it is. No resistance. No resistance. Because I have no control over that. Incidents, events, whatever is happening, I will see them, accept them as they are. I am not disturbed by them. Because when I don't have control over them, why to struggle? They are all bound to be there in Anatma Prapancha. Body fluctuations, mental fluctuations, family disturbances and society disturbances are bound to be there. Do your best. Take care of the body. Hmm? Even the body is uh, having lot of complaints. You should not leave the body, take care of the body, but at the same time know the limitations of the body, accept the body limitations. Similarly, do your best to the family, know that all you cannot make it perfect in the family. Therefore, accept certain limitations in the family relations also. Similarly, society also, do your best in the society, leave the rest to that Bhagavan. Not worrying, why like this? Why me? Why it is happening like this? This why question never come for a jnani. Everything is okay, fine in its own place. Because I am a limited human being from ahankara standpoint. But I, the Sakshi Chaitanyam, watching from the top. Top means what? Transcending higher I, Paramarthika level. Lower order of reality, I watch from higher order of reality. This is the facility of knowledge. Facility of knowledge. Living intelligently. Pooja Dayananda Swamiji's words, living intelligently. This is called living intelligently. I hope you are all living intelligently. Naishkarma Siddhi students are supposed to live intelligently. Okay. See the second line. Dhi vikriya sahasranam. Sahasranam dhi vikriya. Modifications thousands. Sahasra means thousands. Thousands of vikriyas are happening in your own mind. Thousands are not. No, Swami, so no more jastita. Can you count your changes happening in your mind? Can you count? Uncountable. Uncountable vikriyas. Changes are happening in your mind, in everyone's mind. Sahasranam dhivikriyam sakshata aham avikriyaha. Sakshata avikriyaha aham sakshi. Sakshi ataha, sorry. Sakshi ataha aham. Ataha aham avikriyaha sakshi. Therefore, I am sakshi chaitanyam avikriyaha. Mind is vikriyaha. Sakshi witnesser cannot be vikriyaha. 
If he is Vikriya, he cannot be the witnesser. Correct? Since I am a Vikriya, I am able to see the Vikriya modifying modifications going on in Buddhi, thousands and thousands of Vikriyas. To see the time station, uh, railway station, time uh, the rail uh, train arrival and departure, train, uh, second train, third train, fourth train, you are seeing, watching on the platform. So the one who is watching the train, 8 o'clock train arriving and departing, 9 o'clock train arriving and departing. Are you in the train, first train or second train? Third train also you are watching, arrival and departure. You are in the train or outside the train? You must be outside the train. You must be the witnesser of that train, standing on the platform. You cannot uh, witness the second train arrival and departure if you are in the first train. <laughs> Correct? Nice example. If you are in the second train, you cannot witness the third train arrival and departure. That's why that arrival and departure train is like a vikriya mind, changing mind. Second thought, second train, vikriya mind, like third train, vikriya mind. Who is watching Aidi Sakshi Jetanam, like standing on the platform, <laughs> watching the arrival and departure of the first vikriya of the mind, second vikriya of the mind, third vikriya of the mind, raga mind, dvesha mind, happy mind, priya mind, moda mind. All these things, happy, happier, happiest, sorrow, sorrowful, sad, no? sad, no? all I am watching. How many we are watching every day? Hmm? Every day. Palluvali, talavali, kaluvali, muttivali, anandam, anandam, halva eating, gulab jam eating, everything. This and that both are there. No? Dhi vikriyam sahasranam. Okay. Aham avikriyaha, ataha sakshi avikriyaha, I am vikriya rahitaha, parinama rahitaha. Next verse, introduction. Evam sarvasmin vyavicharini atma, atma, e, atma vastu eva. Avya vichari iti anubhavataha vyavasthapanaya aha. Very, very. This is so nice presentation, you see. How much Acharya is uh, uh, giving clarity to us. Yevam, in this manner, sarvasmin. When the entire anatma is changing, sarvasmin, vivicharini, vivicharini means variable. Mind, thoughts, mental thoughts, emotions are variable. Sorrow thought, happy thought, uh, attachment thought, dispassion thought, love thought, hatred thought, so many. Vivicharini means changing. Sati Saptami. Vibhicharini Sati Sati Saptami Sati Atma Vastu Atma is Avyabhichari iti Anubhavataha Avyabhichari means in non variable. I am the Sakshi, I am non variable, watching all variable thoughts. Variable means changing. Sarvasmin, when entire anatma is changing. Sarvasmin, not one or two. How many minds are there? So many changes are in every mind. That is why try to see the relations. Your son, daughter, husband, wife, father, mother. Watch them. Not only you, Bhagavan has given an opportunity to watch another anatma, body, mind, complex. They are also a mixture of... Uh, Lower eye, higher eye, they are also having uh, fluctuations in the mind, just as you are having fluctuations in your mind. Watch them, allow them to undergo that. So that is called objectification, neighborization. Then you are safe distance. 
you are in that you are sailing in the boat but water is not entering the boat nice example sailing in the boat traveling in the river in the boat but water doesn't enter the boat if water enters what will happen the boat will sink similarly you are in the family members relations everything going on it is like a sailing you are traveling jeeva yatra but never allow the saru water to enter the boat jeeva into you the body mind complex ahankara is boat in the boat never allow the sorrow of ahankara come into your higher eye it cannot come it cannot more in the next class om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate om shanti 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 hi हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम